Good morning, everybody. No, it's not the same day as whew, yesterday. I'm just wearing the same thing and I look the same, basically. outfit of the day but not for long because i am going to change immediately into <sighs> into something that i can work out in because this morning we are heading to pilates i obviously don't do makeup <laughs> for pilates i'm just gonna apply this hydration on my eyebrows and my lashes i made my first coffee of the day i have applied just a moisturizer on my skin so I can feel good and moisturized and healthy and glowy. And that's it. A bit of eyebrow hydration, a bit of lash hydration. And basically, we start the day healthy with Pilates and then I can just like enjoy an easy day today. Today, I want to just give myself a lot of love and care. And that's what I also want to motivate you guys to do. Like to dedicate a day that you're really gonna give your body and your mind a lot, a lot of love. Can we do that? So today, that's the day for me. I'm gonna give myself everything that my body needs. Starting with this caramel <laughs> cappuccino, basically. Okay, got dressed. This is a little kind of sweater that I have from Chrome Hearts that I'm gonna wear. It's freezing outside. I'll, I'll see how cold it is. It is two degrees, actually better than yesterday. <laughs> Improvement. Not wearing makeup. I just applied what I applied on my brows and lashes and a little bit of like um, this bronzer just to have a little bit of color and not to look like I'm not feeling well. I'm gonna do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of lip liner it immediately gives me a more put together look if i'm honest and that's it this is it summer friday's lip balm and i'm gonna put on just my barn jacket and a pair of shoes i would even wear uggs let's go today we're so punctual it doesn't happen often but somehow it happened today ready to kick off this sunday in a very good way sweet home ah oh, that was so good and now it's actually raining outside so i wear a hat in order they're not to completely get soaked it's not raining that much though just a little bit really really enjoyed so today we decided to try something new because i'm such a creature of habit and i almost never ever ever change restaurants in general like i'm a very now it sounds weird me saying about myself, but I'm a very loyal person, loyal to same things in general and habitual. But I think sometimes it's very good for you as well to try different things, also for your confidence, also for um, learning new things and trying. And this Pilates class was completely different to everything else that we've been used to until now for the past two and a half months since I've started. So yeah, it was a good one. Now I'm gonna plan my day, shower and all of that good stuff. I love this feeling and I love this gray set 
I'm gonna wear it with my new cashmere socks that I got in Bistro Village. So I'm gonna be all so cozy, fresh, moisturized. I cannot even tell you. And then I think we need to prepare some breakfast because I'm so ready for it. I'm actually hungry. Yeah, 10.30. So it's time for a nice breakfast, I think. What do I feel like eating today? Something salty. So some days I crave more like sweet stuff, like granola, porridge, etc. But today it's a different kind of day. Let's see. I have so much stuff that I need to wash. Let's see what I have in the fridge. <laughs> This for now. Okay, who would have said two days in a row you almost see me in the kitchen shopping? I know. So let's start with mushrooms and carrots. I'll let this heat up a bit. I don't know. What I'm gonna have basically is a piadina, which is like an Italian tortilla, can I say that? <laughs> um, with some vegetables such as mushrooms and carrots and cheese and like random things that I can find in the fridge basically. Let's do some mushrooms first because I love this. I don't do carrots. Maybe I do ham, cheese, mushrooms, tomato sauce. So it's more like pizza vibe. We'll see. Okay, here's the piadina. It's basically just a flatbread that you buy in like supermarket in the packs. And then these are my mushrooms just here for the second until we heat this a little bit up and some cheese that will hopefully melt a little bit. This is the Emmental, um, I think so. No, it's Mastodam, okay. I didn't want to do mozzarella, I just wanted to change things a little, little bit. Okay, it's getting very yummy. Just a bit of turkey ham now, there we go. And then my mushroom, this is it. Now I'm gonna add a spoon of tomato sauce and then we're gonna fold it and that's it that can sit a little bit in the meanwhile for one person i certainly have very many cups but i think i told you once that basically i never realize how good i am at leaving cups around the house before until like two years ago i realized that i was a little bit ashamed yeah i'm trying to get better the machine is on as you can hear and now it's time to have my breakfast the best time of the day honestly i'm gonna sit here and enjoy the view because i am loving it in case you decide to make something like this by the way i just had a first bite I like piadina a little bit more done than usually. Normally I don't like anything to have that kind of like, like pancakes, right? I like them like fully white. I don't like crepes. I don't like them to have any like black dots, but with piadina I do because then it's like crunchy outside, like pizza, but kind of soft inside. I kind of don't know how to explain it, but you're just gonna have to judge it by the look. You see, it's really like pizza basically. And this is so good. I give it 10 out of 10, even if I made it, it's a bit like pretentious to say, but it's so good. It's insane. Mm. Highly recommended. Guys, this was 10 out of 10. I'm sorry that I have to like praise my own <laughs> breakfast skills. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my laptop. I'm going to sit and make plans uh, for like things that I need to do today, but I'm going to be like very kind of gentle towards myself today in terms of like what I need to do and what I want to do and I'm not gonna put too much so I'm just gonna do things that I feel like that are really beneficial for me such as 
organizing my space, my wardrobe, planning what I'm going to gift and donate from there, planning things like that. So uh, one thing at a time, keeping it super, super gentle, easy, fun, wholesome. That's the plan, basically, for this rainy day in Milan. Since we're having a cozy time together, I think second coffee of the day and i think it would be perfect for me to unbox and show you some of the things that i purchased recently i actually got three big bags delivered home from netaporte straight to the door and i'm so excited to go through it now what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna show you the smaller things and the accessories here and then the rest i'm just gonna do a little try on for you guys and for me so that we can like tidy the wardrobe and put the new pieces in right away. Are you ready? Now let's do this. Well, this is heavy. I definitely am a shopping champion in heavy categories. So very gloomy today. That's not gonna stop me from enjoying this day. It's actually helping when it's a little bit gloomy to enjoy the day even more. So I'm gonna go with the heaviest item that is like a small little i want to say christmas christmas gift <laughs> a small little vlogmas gift from me to me and you guys know i shop on the porta all the time it's my go-to for everything whether it's for sort of like occasion wear or bits and bobs that i need i really enjoy the fact that they have a same day delivery in milan so if i need something quickly for my trip tomorrow even if it's only like socks and underwear I go to Netforte. This is very heavy, but I'm a huge fan of Sir Trudon candles. I actually was burning one yesterday, last night. I'm currently burning another one that I got on Netforte as well over there, uh, which is the Bay Diptyque one. But I decided to get like a really big one. This is a five kilo candle, you guys. And I'm gonna unbox it now, but it's more like a festive season candle. Everything that I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna mention will be linked in the description box below in the order that I'm showing it so that you guys can find it in a more easy manner to say so. How am I gonna even unbox this? Okay. Oh, it's heavy. Sir Trudon has their classic um, collections, but also has their seasonal candles. And this one is one of the more seasonal ones, which means that it's basically, oh my God, it's so stunning. Also in a limited edition jar, which I basically don't even know how to show you. Here it is. It's blue with this kind of sun, which you guys know I love as a symbol. And I picked the scent here because I really like it. I already had it before. Here we go. It is a five wick candle, yeah? Just like the other ones that I have. My favorite from Sir Trudon are Ernesto and Abdel Kader. Abdel Kader is more like incense -y. It smells a bit like, like plants, <laughs> whereas Ernesto is like a very sexy scent. I don't know if that's helpful, but I thought I might as well tell you guys besides the candle i'm also going to show you three pairs of shoes that i got and one accessory this is kind of is accessory i'm not going to show it to you on because it's one of those underwear situations but it's not an underwear it's something that you layer a top over and it looks like a very sexy bra but i love it because i've worn something similar to the dolce and gabbana show i'll insert the picture so you guys can see it it's basically a layering piece that you style with sheer tops and I love it especially for this festive time of the year. I have a pair of shoes. I think you all know from which brand. One of my absolute favorites. I love Alaya. I love the packaging too. And these shoes are nothing new to the brand, but the color is new. However, I don't have this style. And I really love the color, which is, of course, well, this brown burgundy-ish one. The burgundy has been like trendy and popular for a while now. However, this kind of like more plum version is going to be even more popular as we head into the next year. And I love this. I love the signature Alaya laser cut print and the buckle. And I think they're beautiful and the color is stunning. Honestly, you guys know we usually spend December in the warmer 
parts of the world and this is gonna be just perfect for it this is the accessory that I wanted to show you yep I've been very much wanting this for a while now I just I don't know what size am I in belts and I couldn't find it in my purchase history because my purchase history is really extensive so I really hope this is gonna fit because I love this belt. Now I have many belts from Kate in my collection, as you will know, but, and I even have many brown belts that are not Kate, just like random, but I don't have brown suede with silver hardware. I have brown and gold, and this is like a grayish brown, like a cool tone brown, which I think is stunning, and I cannot wait to style it for you today as well. Hopefully the size fits, <laughs> because yeah, you wouldn't think that I'm a bit better at shopping by now and two more pairs of shoes to show you one pair from Saint Laurent I've never seen these in real life so let's see obviously Netaporte has such an incredible selection you guys I really had to like stop myself from going further because the selection of cashmere sets scarves knits suits and then accessories is just beyond but when I saw these shoes, I thought, you know what? I don't think I have anything similar to this in my collection. Also, bear in mind, I'm a size 40. And this makes your foot look very small because it's a wedge. And it's basically a strappy sandal in the front, front ties around the ankle in a satin um, belt, which is leather inside. Has this, now they're going back to the Roots logo at the back and the golden leather wedge that is so feminine and so beautiful that I had to show it to you. What I'm searching for really desperately is a white gown that I wanna spend New Year's Eve in. Now last New Year's Eve, I wore a Saint Laurent gown, which is the one that Hailey Bieber wore at Met Gala the same year. It's basically the slit was going all the way to the hip. I love it, but apparently, which I didn't know because I come from Serbia, but apparently you need to enter the new year wearing white. Did you guys know that? <laughs> I think it's maybe Brazilian kind of belief. I'm not sure, but I need a white dress. So if you see any really amazing gowns that are better than my last year's one, please let me know. The last pair of shoes is something I really, really honestly needed. It was not just like, okay, I'll buy this because I like it. Like this was, I'll buy it because I love it, right? But this was something I really, really need. It is a pair of ankle boots and I only have one similar thing to this my cowboy black Bottega boots. These are not really like a classic cowboy boots, but these are brown. I don't know if it's picking up the color, but these are brown ankle boots that I think are fabulous under jeans to just poke the pointy bit with a flat, almost flat heel, like a bit of a heel, but like they're not like too flat, they're not healed. So I can spend a whole day in them and these will be perfect in my brown looks when I don't want to wear my Uggs and I don't want to wear a high heel. So that is the idea behind everything that I've shown you here. Now, I have a lot of clothing to show you. I'll tell you how many pieces. Okay, eight pieces of clothing and one scarf. I don't have a warm beige scarf, can you believe it? I had one from Celine, but I gave it away. And this one I'm obsessed with. It is from Loewe. Look how cozy. Hopefully you're gonna be able to hear me and I don't end up covering the mic. But if yes, sorry. Look how beautiful. I love it. Obviously it says Loewe in here. It has this beautiful fringing. I think it's so gorgeous, look. It is chunky, it is beautiful, and it is exactly how I love it. Now let's go and try everything on. All right, the first look is, well, the first purchase is this brown um, cashmere knit that I absolutely love, but the purchase was inspired, <laughs> besides other things, by my sister. So I wore this brown reformation knit called Garrett that I love so much. And my sister called me on FaceTime and she asked me, do you have no other knits? Because it's true that I've been wearing that like a lot in the past two years. Also with these jeans that I also got on at Porte a while ago, I believe, more than a year ago, as well as here are the new Kate boots. What I got surprised about is that they don't have a zip and I was like, how's this gonna work? But it works seamlessly. Now we can test the size as well, which I'm not sure. Let's see, I got a size 70, but I feel like I'm a size 80. So, hmm, you will be surprised. 
Did I maybe not get the size 70? I don't know. Actually, maybe because it's like a high waist. It's so perfect. Wow, I'll come closer. First of all, let's tuck this in so you can properly focus on what matters, okay? Look at this. Look at the color of the knit. Look how beautiful. I'm obsessed. What do you guys think? Love the belt, love the knit. It's so good. The first look of the haul, and I'm loving how these boots look with jeans like this, but I also thought, look at this, hold on. We got now the Levi scarf, the Levi scarf, the brown coat, and even my new Gucci blondie. So we're keeping it in kind of earthy tones, is it, with the jeans. I love this bag so much, by the way. It's empty now, so it's not gonna look cute because it's empty, but this is the look number one. What do you think? I am obsessed. Now, I got another knit that I wanna show you the same denim combo with because it's in green color. So I think brown and green is also really, really beautiful because I'm also loving this. Guys, this knit is like nothing else I've ever seen. Why am I saying that? Because look at this cut in the front. It's kind of like round cut, so it's shorter on the sides and in the back. It has a polo neck, which I adore, also on my like Kate knitwear. It has, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, somewhere here at the back, a beautiful purple anagram logo, yeah? And it's just so comfortable. It's cashmere, it's beautiful. Mm, what bag would I wear with this? I think if I wore this exact look, I would go for my The Row Margot bag because I love it. I also think that the knit makes my legs look longer because it's kind of like longer in the middle, but shorter on the sides. You see what I mean? Again, brown coat, brown Margot. But again, I'm not mad at this combo, you see? Because it's that kind of vibes that just seems to work, I'd say. Or the Ferragamo hug bag, also a great, great option. These, these boots, I think they're gonna be my new most worn booties. So far, we're winning. I was hoping <laughs> that I'm not gonna wanna keep everything, but yeah, at the moment, as you can see. Okay, the next look. I put this random top on, which is from Saint Laurent years ago but the reason why i put it on is so you can see also the look without the jacket uh, or it being open i got the trousers in size 2 us which is my usual size but i think they're a little bit oversized so i will need a belt or i need to get a size zero which i'm not by the way but just so you know in case you're getting these trousers you can go size down i have been the same body shape since i've been 16 so and size so <laughs> there there are no changes in there but what i can tell you is that i love these trousers because they're wintry white perfection the moment that they fit properly which will be this they're gonna be perfection for me and i got a jacket which is like a military styled with ruched sleeves i don't know if you can see how the sleeves are done so that they look ruched the buttons are like the pop popper buttons, so it's like easy to close and open, which I love. I would love the jacket also in black color because it's so beautiful. It's sort of like a military style a little bit because of the buttons. I love this look. Can we just discuss? Look at what I'm talking about on the sleeve. Do you see this detail? How perfect is it? And then each button has actually, it's not just like a, a button. There's like something that makes it look like you had to button each and every single one the pockets everything is perfect i'm loving this winter white look i would say really it just works for like important events or like more fancy dinners but then again you can wear the pieces separate i think this jacket will look really really cute also with tights and a mini skirt and a mini skirt could also be black and the pockets are real so really great look okay i think i got my favorite piece it's these trousers. Everything else, well, besides the flats, is old. The flats, I decided to pair it with the burgundy Alaya flats, and I love them even more than I thought I would. But the trousers, you guys, I don't understand. They are so, so perfect. This is a Kate cardigan. It's in the same kind of topi color, and 
this was my idea of the look okay sort of like cozy top i'll unbutton this as well so you can focus on the trousers a bit more they have this elasticated waistband which says loewe but it's not like too bold i would actually rather style it with a white t-shirt so that it's like a perfect fit not like something knitted and then we have these beautiful gorgeous like thick wintry but not too thick trousers i think you can wear these from spring through winter just maybe not summer but you know they feel like my gala pants from the row i have one a pair that is like cashmere wool as well so obsessed the trousers are divine i love them the next dress is something very very sexy i think but i think you guys like it when it's a little bit out there this beautiful silk dress long sleeve gorgeous neck detailing i'm 174 centimeters tall i think if you're a bit taller it will get quite short it's already very short but i love this dress because you can actually it has like little suspenders at the end so you can wear it with like socks um that are like go till here and that will keep it also a little bit longer in a way, if that makes sense, because it will pull it down on the back and in the front. But I think this is so sexy without actually revealing anything. Just, it's very short and beautiful, and it's that deep chocolate color. It actually comes in two different colors, which you will see um, on the link of the dress. It will ask you to select the color you want. And it's kind of almost like a turtleneck with this beautiful detailing. I think like even styled with the turban, this would be really gorgeous. I know that's maybe like a lot. My neighbor's like walking really loud upstairs. In high heels, I think. I wonder if I sound like that. I never walk in my shoes though anyway in the house. So the point is that um, a lady, like a very kind of famous fashion icon in Milan who runs a fashion business, told me once, uh, don't ever become boring with fashion. Always, always be exciting and interesting. And maybe one day for Filippo, you can be this lady in a turban and another day you can wear some feathers and another day you can... And I just thought like, she told me like this, do not fall in that trap be exciting every day and i love that so here we go something exciting and my potential new year's eve dress is here now i wish i steamed it but i couldn't because it has tags in the back which you will see and i wanted to try it on before i can actually see if it fits me so to see if i can keep it and then it wouldn't have this little line here that is a bit annoying and some on the bottom as well. But I loved, love, love, love this ruched detailing here. I think it's very flattering. The sleeves are sort of like cut open, which makes it look really beautiful and flowy. And the back is, I don't know if you can see, but if I don't fall, the back is open. It has that beautiful cut, but open enough to make it flattering. Like even if like, you know, however your back looks, this will make it look really, really flattering. And this is it. I think it's gorgeous. And this is the kind of vibe of the dress that I would like to go for. Something different to everything that I've already worn previously. So what was your favorite piece from this haul? I think mine were the Loewe trousers, the brown knit, the Loewe knit, the belt, the shoes. Um, okay, lots of pieces were my favorite. So don't worry about me. Just let me know what's your favorite. There's something I need to talk to you about. Anyway, I'm in my bedroom now and I want to clear out some stuff and organize. And that's a whole job to get on. But I don't even know where to start from. This story is going to be a bit longer. But last year, I was in Shanghai with Gucci for the Cosmos exhibition. It was truly beautiful. But on the last day, just before the checkout, I received to my room a handwritten note and a box of most beautiful chocolates. It was from a follower who saw me in the lobby and then... Um, basically gave it to the reception as a gift for me. I was really touched. I tried to find her on Instagram to say thank you. I couldn't find her. Um, I posted on the stories. Then a few weeks ago, my agency address got this insane package, heavy, that I will show it to you now, but I'm trying to lift it, but I had to like take some stuff out of it just to be able to show it to you. Here it is, okay? Whew. 
and it was also from her. I posted on my stories trying to find her so that I can say thank you because I was so touched beyond belief. But the reason why I was so touched is not even just because of the package, but guys, I feel already like I have so many friends all around the world thanks to this channel, right? And whenever I meet you guys, sometimes like I even met people like on the street and we would end up having a drink. Like Philippa is a witness to that. Some of you know that. I met friends all around the world and I'm so grateful for that. You guys know me, you know, like you know what I like, what I don't like, uh, what kind of fashion I go for, what kind of beauty, what, what travel. You might not care about fashion, beauty or travel. You might only want to watch me for my point of view or like opinions. And as long as you keep coming back, we have something in common. Like you and I have things in common because otherwise you would not be coming back to watch this. We don't tend to watch things that are completely like unrelatable and bizarre, you know? So this wonderful lady has sent me a package full of recommendations for her honeymoon. And not only that, a personal letter, which I love. And then also all kinds of ideas for my honeymoon, like a full on research, like look how many pages they are. I don't even know if like my friends would do this for me, by the way, which is why I say that we are <laughs> friends. And the package filled with incredible, like these are, I, I want to put this now in my kitchen because I want to try it. This is coffee. So all kinds of different coffee, different company. Just looks so special. So these are the coffee capsules. I don't know if you can see, but I am beyond impressed. So many different coffee capsules. Manuka honey from New Zealand. It says honey from somewhere far from anywhere. And this is so beautiful. There is more coffee. Clearly she knows how much I love coffee, okay? Oh my God, and also I love this color. <laughs> I don't know if that's important, but this is just Brazil yellow bourbon, 100 specialty Arabica micro lot. Smooth balanced cup of coffee with medium acidity and a full creamy mouthfeel. Taste of dark chocolate and a hint of citrus. I mean, honestly, how did I deserve this? And more coffee. Gold cup care guide. <gasps> no, this is a cup. This I didn't even open fully, but honestly, I am just shook, shook, honestly. And it was sitting here because I felt like I didn't want to show it because it's a personal gift. But then at the same time, I wanted to show it because I felt like I would love this lady to reach out to me on DM so I can text her to say thank you. And also because I feel like this is the only way that I can get to say thank you then a solution for like, it's basically everything that I will need for honeymoon. A gift for Filippo, a gift for us, which is emotional conversations discussed to keep love true. Love that. And then you guys, something really special in this box here. I adore it and I don't have one. It's basically a safari hat. Look at this, how cute. And obviously you can open it, you can wear it like this. I love this, by the way, and I love this part in front. How cute. And then you can wear it like this. I don't know how to say thank you because I don't have a contact, but I'm so grateful and so thankful. And honestly, cannot believe it. It's time for me to unpack this. I'm just still in awe and in shock with all of this kindness and love and thoughtfulness that went into this package. Okay, guys, nice little afternoon, cozy moment. Got my blanket, got my home Uggs on, got my chai tea latte. Actually, funnily enough, the projector is on and I can see like really well. So I'm gonna play YouTube, like to catch up with like all the things on YouTube that I like to watch of all the YouTubers that I enjoy watching. I'm gonna watch some YouTube in the background and I'm gonna respond to your comments. So far, I respond every single day to comments. So every single video that I published so far, I was responding. I always try to do so as much as I can. So I've been really, really enjoying. I have to say like my favorite time of the day is this, when I'm cozy and comfy and 
with like a hot drink playing something in the background and chatting with you guys is just so nice because i feel like chatting with my friends i know I, it's cheesy and i know i say it but i really mean it so i say it over and over and over again and that's it now i'm gonna get onto it so let's do it <laughs> guys i vlogged a whole little segment where i was like telling you so many different things and i didn't press record button i'm someone that really recharges the batteries by spending the time alone okay so i really enjoy uh, spending time with people um socializing speaking to my friends etc but like every once in a while i really need this kind of a potato day where i woke up i did pilates i ate things that i wanted to eat i just had a bowl of fruits which you didn't see because i thought i vlogged it raspberries and mango half a mango and like a handful of raspberries it was delicious i am now <laughs> enjoying like this you see perched on this couch just having the best time but this morning when the pilates class ended the teacher said can we just take a moment to feel gratitude and after you're active it just feels so easy to feel the gratitude everywhere and I'm someone who has discovered gratitude like many, many, many years ago when I felt like I was not fulfilled in any possible field of my life, not in my career, not in my love life. I felt like quite a bit like I was hitting a wall in every aspect of my life. And that's when I discovered that no matter how anxious or scared or unhappy you feel, gratitude certainly doesn't fix problems, but it makes you feel a little bit more wholesome and actually gratitude is as a base of kind of spirituality in general because when you feel grateful for what you have instead of focusing on what you don't have it doesn't matter uh, what's it about it just makes you feel better and that's what i'm basically enjoying this evening in so tomorrow night Filippo's coming from abu dhabi i already miss him very much but i'm still making the most out of like this quiet peaceful time and my family is as well coming so you can imagine how hectic it's going to be but then the day after I'm actually we're on the road again so I just want to take this time to spend time with myself to ask myself what is it that I need when is it the last time you asked yourself what do you need I think like you can only pour into other people's cups once your cup is full. But if your cup is empty, you cannot pour and help other people in no matter what. So yeah, just a little food for thought. I wanted to ask you all to take a moment and to think about what is it that you're grateful for. I know I ask you this sometimes in a video here and there, but I think it's just really important and just taking that moment tonight before you go to bed before you like once you close all of your devices just ask yourself like if you can take five minutes to just feel the gratitude because it's really really that beautiful that being said i think tonight i'm gonna have a nice little bath as well i'm gonna just enjoy have a cup of tea now read the book when i have a bath and just get ready get ready for busier period i guess we're halfway through Vlogmas today, which is kind of crazy because I feel like it's really, really, really it has gone so fast. And I thoroughly enjoyed it, spending time with you guys every day. Guys, <sighs> bath done. I had such a relaxing time. As you could have seen, I poured Chanel number no. five oil into the bathtub and currently i'm just chilling with my led mask on one thing to say about chanel number no. five i'm not like someone that used to always love the fragrance itself but when it was 100 years of number no. five which was i believe in 2021 i discovered the oil which was in like a limited edition bottle and i used it in my bathtub it was just a result in basically i used the bath kind of like a galette what you call it like a tablet and the oil and my skin after is unmatched. It's so soft and smooth and I cannot even tell you. It's like an ultimate, ultimate relaxing, luxurious experience. I really love it. And I'm gonna keep the LED on. I'm gonna do my evening skincare routine and I'm gonna go to sleep quite early 
because I want to get up very early tomorrow. So really enjoyed today. Really had a beautiful day for myself, to myself. <laughs> um, thank you for hanging out with me. I really love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.